What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing the Snow Ice Evolution. We got ourselves Glaceon for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Glaceon in Scarlet and Violet, I feel like it's only viable next to a Snow Setter. So we're pairing it up with a little Ninetales. Looking to get after it, looking to grab some wins. This Glaceon over here has Snow Cloak as its ability with the Bright Powder, hoping to dodge some moves in today's matches. It's got Freeze Dry, it's got Blizzard, it's got Terra Blast with the Ground Terra type. And last but not least, it's got Ice Shard. Like I said, we are pairing it up with a Lola Ninetales to set the snow with Snow Warning as its ability, Light Clay as its item for Aurora Bell, and then it's got Dazzling Gleam, Snow Scape to reset the snow, and then Blizzard as its final move. Four other Pokemon on today's team features a nice little combo of Gardevoir and Garchomp. Now, we showcased this combo a couple videos ago, so if you guys want to check it out more in depth, definitely go ahead on over to that video. But we'll probably be using it again today. Gardevoir's got Telepathy with Imprison and Trick Room. It also has Expanded Force and Moonblast, and Garchomp can EQ freely next to Gardevoir due to its ability. Garchomp also has Rough Skin. It's got Clear Amulet with Dragon Claw Stop and Catch and Protect, and like I already mentioned, EQ. Our final two Pokemon features Prima Arena and Chandelure. Prima Arena allows us to have a nice special attacker on the team and another way of setting the snow with Snowscape. And Chandelure, a great special attacker that can either counter or set Trick Room if need be. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Glaceon in ranked regulation H. Would you look at this, Alolan Ninetales versus Alolan Ninetales. So we each have one. Hopefully Snow is going to be on the field. That would definitely benefit us. But they also have Incineroar. They got Wimscott. They got Electabuzz for support. Volcarona and Amoongus. Now, if they're going to bring or if they have Alolan Ninetales, I feel pretty safe just going into our Ninetales and our Glaceon. I think that's a perfect lead for us. That is what I'm going to rock out with. In the back end, we could also bring like Chandelure or even Primarina. Primarina could be pretty nice especially because they have Incineroar. We also have Icy one to deal with like Amoongus if we want to. Or Wimscott, that could do respectable damage. You know what? I'm gonna go Primarina here. I like Primarina and then last but not least, either Garchomp or Chandelure. And I'm kind of leaning towards Garchomp a little bit, but I'm scared of their Alola Ninetales. I am scared of their Alola Ninetales. I think Chandelure is actually pretty solid. You know what? We're gonna go Chandel. We're gonna go Chandel. I mean, Incineroar is gonna be like the only annoying Pokemon here. But we got Primarina to kind of deal with that. So we're hoping we can just get after it with this Snow Squad. Maybe set up an Aurora Bell here. Really look to just, you know, just get after it. <laughs> it's the bottom line. They could maybe go like Wimscott with like Sunny Day. And that is something I am scared of. But they're just not even going to lead it. So that's good. So we're just going to go Aurora Bell for Aurora Bell. Um, do I Terrasilize Glaceon? Maybe. I mean, I know my Ninetales is going to outspeed, which is really good for us. But I could Terrasilize and go Ground Typing and look just do some damage onto Incineroar, which I really like the best. So I'm going to do that, even though I'm going to be weak to Ice. Do I still do it? I think we still do it. We're going to do that, and we're just going to go gonna go into an Aurora Veil. So the chances are we go Aurora Veil for Aurora Veil. They could go for Fire Blitz if they want to. They could go for Fake Out this turn. I just don't think they go for Fake Out this turn. But I am going to go for my Terra Ground. Um... Hmm, I could end up swapping Glaceon after this, maybe into like Chandelure. Really depending on what they do. But this Aurora Veil is gonna be like it's gonna be huge for both of us. So fake out is actually gonna fly. Are they gonna set up an Aurora Veil? They're gonna go for Moonblast, that's fine. They get a crit, that's not fine. And they get a special What is this? What is this? And you get a special attack drop? I'm about to do negative five damage. I mean, actually, this should do relatively decent damage, but no Roar Bell. Decent damage. So I think now's a good time for us to just swap this Ninetales into, like, Chandelure. Or Primarina I could go. Hmm. Who would I rather go into here? Yeah, I'd rather go Primarina here. Maybe get that Throat Spray popping. And then just set up that Roar Bell at the same time. Because we're probably going to go Roar Bell for Roar Bell. So I'll swap to Glaceon. Of course, I went minus one that first turn, so we need to look to figure this out. They might even go for a parting shot here, which I wouldn't mind if they do that. Actually, I kind of would. I kind of would, and we're going to go Aurora Veil for Aurora Veil. So the Veil's flying. Veil for Veil. Is he going to go for a Foil Blitz? That's the real question. I'd be upset if he's going for parting shot into the Glaceon slot. That would really just mess me up a little bit. And he's going to go for the Foil Blitz, which we should so, correct? Thank you, Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil gonna help us out a little bit. He's gonna take some recoil. Is he buried? 
He is buried. The citrus berry, of course, pops on Incineroar. Um, Night Tails could have Freeze Dry, which I am a little scared of, but I gotta pop a Hyper Voice just to trigger this Throat Spray and get that cooking. And from here, just Dazz and Bleeding. Just look to do some damage here. He's gonna end up withdrawing Incineroar. He's gonna go into maybe Amoongus. Is that the play here? You got Amoongus by chance? You do have Amoongus. <laughs> so Amoongus comes out here. Dazz and Gleam gonna launch Amoongus in absolute bulk within this what's it called well, okay it was, it's a speed tie between the nine tails you know encore me and doesn't clean but amoongus an absolute bulk in this reward bill <laughs> like look at that just soaking soaking shots no problem so it is good that um we do have throw spray pop in here i do have icy wind that can work good i do have other moves but i'm thinking i'm just ripping a moon blast into this nine tail slot i mean you can eventually just like palm puff i might just go for icy wind just slow down everybody and try to land a blizzard. Um, mm, Encore and Dazzling Gleam. Alright, looks like we're going for Dazzling Gleam. The Dazzling Gleam is going to outspeed, which is good news. Do a little bit of damage on both sides. Moon Blast can launch, get rid of my Ninetales. Actually, Ninetales soaks this. And of course, you get another special attack drop. It's getting out of hand. Icy Wind launches. He's probably going to spore my Pokemon. It's getting a little scary. And we'll slow him down. A little bit of slowdown action. You spawn, you're spawned. Yeah, I've seen that coming from my way. So we have to finish off Amoongus before we even do anything, right? Because Amoongus could just sit in this roar bell and just palm puff all day. That's the big problem. So, I mean, we will try to go for another Icy Wind. We will try to go for another Aurora Bell. He's going to withdraw Amoongus and just regenerate. Not a roar bell. That's simply what I meant to say. So, Chance Heart and Cinnamon comes back out. No, Volcarona is going to come back out here. And we're going to Gleam up. So... If I had to guess, you probably have Giga Drain, which is kind of annoying. And you're just gonna encore me, man. Ah, just get ugly real quick. Get ugly real quick. So I'm asleep. Might even go for a Quiver Dance. Can you take out my Nine Tails? The snow's gone already, so War Belt might be ending in a little bit. And what are you gonna do? Leftovers pop? Yep, leftovers come out here. So we have Shannon Lord. We still have Glaceon, which is good. Um. I can. Actually, I have a choice in the Icy Wind. Or not choice. I'm encored in the Icy Wind. I'm going to swap in the Chandel here. I'm going to go into Chandel Lore. Try to keep the snow, because I would like the snow for a couple turns after this. Just to help out with my Glaceon with its uh, Snow Cloak. He's going to go for his Quiver Dance. The Quiver Dance is going to fly out here. Uh, do we have ways of dealing with this? Can I just, like, wake up? Waking up would be lovely. Moon Blast going to launch. I soak that no problem. So we're sitting here soaking that. I do like our typing up against this, uh, or I, I do like Shandalore up against these guys. But the problem is, I think it's just setting up Quiver Dances. We get real annoying real fast. But I'll go for Heat Wave, try and land it. He's gonna end up withdrawing Nine Tails. So Incineroar probably comes back out. And I think this is my last turn going for Icy Winds. And maybe I can wake up here, because that would be pretty big for me. He's going to Intimidate, which does nothing. We're all special attacking here. And Giga Drain's going to fly. So Giga Drain doing solid damage. Almost half. And I do wake up, which is big time. And I am going to slow him down. So Volcarona's speed's going to go back to normal. We're going to do about negative six damage. <laughs> that is atrocious. But I do get the speed drops, which is good. Heat Wave's going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? Nothing crazy again. And he's just going to left over boost. All right. Um, could pick me out. Probably is going to fake me out. I don't have Protect on Primarina. I do not have Protect. So I'm honestly just going to swap you out for Nine Tails. Just set the snow. And then just, uh, I guess, try to go for Heat Wave here again. Oh, because then I lose my Throat Spray boost. I wish I had Protect on you. I really do, but I have, to, I have to swap you. I have to swap you. I need you. So I'm just going to sacrifice my Nine Tails, set the snow, and... I guess just try to rip another Heat Wave. I guess just try to rip another Heat Wave. So they still have Terra. We do not. We still have our, we still have our Glaceon for Terra, which is actually pretty good. Glaceon with Ground Terra could work wonders here. Snow Warning going to pop. And out comes their Terra finally. Probably in the Volcarona. The Volcarona slot? Are you going Grass Volcarona? I would honestly like that. It is. Okay, Blizzard can get some work done here. Lizardo can get some work done here with Glaceon. 
Giga Drain's gonna launch. That's just going to take us out. I swapped in just for that factor, and I'm surprised you're not faking out. I guess you're going for a, what's it called? I guess you're going for a knockoff. That's fine. Can I land this heat wave? Get off some damage on the Volcarona, first and foremost. I can. Thank you very much. That's some solid damage. Rorvel should be ending soon. And I do get a burn on both, which is nice. I mean, negate that leftovers damage. And there's a the knockoff, which we should soak. We do soak all day. Now we're sitting here, ringing out Glaceon. And I'm hoping, can we outspeed that? I mean, we got Snowcloak, we got Ground Terra. Hmm. We don't outspeed that, I don't think, because Shannon Lord couldn't even outspeed it. Actually, it's even on the speed board right now. I could go into Primarina, but I'd rather save the Primarina. I'd rather go into Glaceon with the Snow Cloak right now. And look to just attack with a Terra Blast. Or do I Blizzard? I might just Blizzard here. I'm gonna Blizzard in a Heat Wave. I'm gonna Blizzard in a Heat Wave. I feel like Volcarona has to go down. He's gonna end up withdrawing Instant Aura. That's fine. That's perfect for me. That's perfect for me. And he going into here. Amoongus? Ninetales. Okay, Ninetales should die out to this heat wave. Ninetales should die out to this heat wave. And Blizzard. Combo. So Blizzard attacking. They want to get back into Incineroar. That's really what their play is here. Blizzard's going to do a little bit of damage. Heat wave's going to follow through. Can you hit this Ninetales, please? And thank you. Please and thank you. Don't, don't do me like this. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So Chandler's going to hit this Ninetales. What a first match so far. And now they're probably just going to bring back out Incineroar, if I had to guess, just so they can have Fake Out ready to roll. Um, I don't have Protect on Glaceon. Do I have it on Shandle? I'm scared of the Giga Drain. War Bell's gone for both teams. Um, oh, it's brutal. It's brutal. A Heat Wave or a Blizzard will KO, which is really good news here. This Volcarona. Now, they go back into Incineroar, correct? Yeah, so now I have Fake Out ready to go. They're going to Fake Out the Glaceon. I already know that. But I still feel as I have to stay on the field and attack just to get rid of this Volcarona. Because if I get rid of this Volcarona, we pretty much can win this game. So I'm going to double down with Heat Wave and Blizzard here. He is going to end up going for Fake Out. And I dodge it. Snow Cloak Glaceon dodges it. That's pretty big. I mean, they're going to KO us regardless. But it is good that I double down. You're going to get back some Giga Drain HP. And I think that this uh, Heat Wave still KOs, right? Aurora Bell is gone. If I can KO here, we are sitting in a great position. Because then I can just bring back out Prima Arena. I can start Hyper Voicing through. I just need Heat Wave to KO here. Go ahead. Do it. Heat Wave. Oh, no. No shot. The Quiver Dance boost really going to save your life? Not the Quiver Dance boost. Not the Quiver Dance boost. Not the Quiver Dance boost. The Quiver Dance boost. I don't have Protect on you either. I don't have Protect on any of these Pokemon. Besides Shandal. Besides Shandal. Oh, dude, I needed that to KO. I should have Ice Shard it. I probably should have Ice Shard it. I need that to KO. If that KOs there, we probably win this game. What a first match, though. I probably should have Ice Shard it at this point. But now I go into you. If I had Protect, I'd just Protect you and pop Trick Room. Or just Protect and then Heat Wave through. But I don't. I simply don't have it. So now you can just Giga Drain KO me, get back some HP. Really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. So we're just gonna do the same thing. Do I try to pop Trick Room? No, because you have a Moogus late game. Who knows? I might be able to win this one. And wow, you're just gonna stay on the field here. Hold up, you're gonna give me a shot. That Protect gives me a shot, doesn't it? No, you're outspeeding me. You're outspeeding my Shandle. Oh, you're minus one. No, you swapped it in and out. That's fair. That's fair. Now it's definitely game. Now it is definitely game. I was gonna say if Primarina or or if Primarina outspeeds this uh, Incineroar, we would have a shot at win this game. Since we don't, we will not win this. Rough one. Rough one. I really need that Heat Wave to KO. But hey, that's the game of Pokemon, man. Game of five HP. There are so many games that is just won because of like five HP, and this is one of them. This is one of them. So GG to our opponent. Um, is there any chance I have? I mean, Moog is going to come out here and just put me to sleep pretty much. I mean, I got to try at least, right? Got to go for an Icy win. Got to go for an Icy win. Maybe you could miss a Giga Drain. Yeah, no shot. <laughs> yeah, no shot. GG's.
GG, so we're starting off 0-1. We're going to go bounce back in match number two. It is time for our bounce back match. Hopping into match number two, that last match came down to that wire. The Volcarona soaked up that heat wave just enough for them to win that match. GG's to our opponent. Going up against Blastoise, Typhlosion, Sceptile, King Gambit, Torkoal, and last but not least, they have Varigaram. So uh, I think from here, going into like Ninetales and Glaceon is really not bad for us. I feel like we could do a lot of work up against a lot of different Pokemon and maybe set up a War Veil. But if they want to swap into Torkoal, we can just Snowscape and kind of take the weather back. So I'm going to go into both of these two. Um, good Pokemon for late game would probably be like Chomp. Chomp could be super effective onto a good bit of these guys. So Guard Chomp's going to come out here for us. And then last but not least, we go Shandle or Gardevoir or even Primarina. We're kind of leaning towards Shandle. Yeah, I'm going to go Shandle here. A little bit of Shandle lore. Shandle pop, I like to call it. So we're L1. Again, bounce back match right here. I love the bounce back match number two. Match number one was just a warm up for me. Trust me, guys. We're going to win this match for you guys. We're going to win this match. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Because I feel like going into Snow Squad is definitely the right call for us. Unless they lead Torkoal. I mean, if they lead Torkoal, it's not that big of a deal. Kind of is. Because then they could just like, keep up. Leading Torkoal would be rough for us. Okay, they don't. That's huge. Um... The real question is, do I set up an Aurora Veil this turn? Who, who would they swap? They would swap Sceptile, if ain't anybody. I'm going to go for Aurora Veil. And I'm just going to go for Free Shrine in this slot. It's going to be my play. They could swap into Torkoal. I was going to make that read and just like Snowscape this turn. But there is an off chance that they don't. That they just kind of like stay in here, right? Which I'm really hoping. And if that off chance does occur, I get off a free Aurora Veil. Which is really nice for me. Should be awesome. I'm gonna take the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say that they're not swapping. And they don't. They're gonna go for Grass Pudge and Water Pudge here. And there to go. So grass Water Pudge is gonna fly. Combine for two moves. They're gonna swamp us up here. And I dodge it with Snow Cloak. Oh my lord. <laughs> Snow Cloak dodge. Love it. Love it. Love it. So I get off that Aurora Bell. Freeze right now. Launches Blast. So he's taking a huge chunk of damage. Oh my god, that's huge. That is huge. Now I'm going to double down with Blizzard because I don't think he KO me through Aurora Bell. And that is massive. And there they go. Going for Grass Pledge, Water Pledge again. Grass Pledge, Water Pledge. Going to the Glacier again. We might dodge this. No, they, they're like, all right, screw it. We're going to go after this one. So they set up a swamp, which is, if you guys do not know what a swamp is after Grass and Water Punch goes through, it's basically like a reverse tailwind at like 75% of speed. I think it takes away 75% of your speed, so it's basically like a better reverse tailwind. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope, but at what cost? Now both your Pokemon are dead. Would have been nice if they would have gotten off first turn, but I got off a War Bell, which is massive. Now if they go into a Pokemon like... Like Torkoal, we're pretty much just going to change the weather. Actually, will Torkoal outspeed my Ninetales? I don't think so. I would hope not. Let's see. What you got here? Is it Torkoal? It is Torkoal. I sure hope you don't. <laughs> I really hope you don't once you to outspeed me here. Typhlosion and Torkoal. I need you to not outspeed me. I mean, honestly, you probably outspeed me. Typhlosion does. Ooh. This could get ugly real quick. Do I use my water tower here? Try to go for snowscape? I think so. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into my flash fire Pokemon. It's going to be my play. I really need to change up this weather. If I can change up this weather, we can just win this game. We can just win this game. We can change up this weather. We have to be able to change up the weathers. So I'm going to go for it. And this is going to be a big time tower from Typhlosion, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what I'm hoping here is, through Aurora Veil, I'm really hoping that my Ninetales can just soak this eruption. I don't know if it can. With Water Terror, it's going to be not very effective. And then we can outspeed the Torkoal and just change up the weather. I should just swap Ninetales. That's what I should have done. Yeah, I should have just I should have swapped Ninetales for Chandelier and just brought it out next turn. Why didn't I do that? Would have made life 10 times easier. Would have made life 10 times easier. Here comes the eruption. Flash fire is going to block it. And here it comes. I don't think Ninetales soaks this. I really don't. Yeah, no. Why didn't I just swap Ninetales? Why didn't I just swap Ninetales? That's, that's dumb of me. So I know that, uh... I know that he has flash fire on his Typhlosion. But I could just go into you. 
And I could try pop and trick him. I could protect and pop trick him. But trick him would just help out the Torkoal. <laughs> That's it's tough. It's tough. It would just help out the Tor uh, Torkoal. How many turns are left in this swamp? Two. So you know what? I'm just going to protect Shan. Actually, I'm not going to protect. Yeah, I am going to protect Shan because I want to go for EQ here. And there is a chance that he might just go for like Poltergeist here. Let's see. So he goes for Helping Hand again. This is going to be Helping Hand Eruption again. I should just attack with Shandle. We're just going to protect it. Can I soak up this Eruption? Eruption is doing damage. You seem choice. You seem almost choice, don't you? Let's go. Soak this, Chomp. It's not very effective. You're at full HP. You got this all day. All day. That's big time eat up. Okay, so EQ was the right call. I definitely should have swapped. What's it called? I 1,000% should have swapped the Ninetales, but now we're sitting in the perfect position in this game. There we go. Typhlosion gone. All right, GG's. Awesome. So everything works out fine. And like I said, I'm bouncing back this match, but I don't know why my brain just didn't think of swapping Ninetales instead of going for Snowscape. I think I was just so set on going for Snowscape, like the whole match. I was just like, I got to click it. So it's fine. Now I can just go into Stomping Tantrum and a nice, lovely Shadow Ball and say, GG's. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. They canceled the match. We're one and one. Time for our final match, and it is a weather war for the century. Rain versus snow. I hate rain teams right now. Rain is one of my favorite weathers of all time, but rain in regulation H is just annoying me so much. It really is. It's just super strong right now. They got Archer Loot on. They got Basket Legion. <coughs> Excuse me. They also have Amoongus. They got Garchomp. And they got Hydreigon. So, again, rain super strong right now, and it's going to be a problem for me to deal with. I could go into Garchomp, maybe turn one. If I want to, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, pre marine is not going to be bad here. I kind of do like the pre. I don't really like channel just because of weather. I could honestly just go into my weather. And that is something I like. So I'm going to end up going into both of them. Um, gotta bring Chomp. I think Gardevoir is actually pretty good here. I actually like the Gardevoir here. Gardevoir. Yeah, we're going to go Gardevoir. And the Garchomp. It's either Garchomp or Pre. And after looking at this, Garchomp's gotta be the play. He can deal with Electro Shots from Archer Ludon. He can also do some nice damage all across the board, especially to the Dragon types. But yeah, let's see how this one plays out. I, I just feel like every time I go up against Rain from Regulation H, it's just always a tough time because it's by far probably the strongest synergy in the format right now. Especially because like Archer Ludon falls into that category where it's like its stats are insane. But it's not a Paradox or Legendary Pokemon, so it's like the strongest Pokemon in the format right now. But they're going to end up going into Double Dragon. That's definitely looking scary for them. That is definitely looking scary for them. And I, I think they have to swap into Pelipper, so I'm going to make this read and just drop a Snowscape. And read that they swap into Pelipper, and we're just going to launch Blizzard. Into our other slot. So yeah, I think they swap Pelipper all day. I feel like they have to. They see this, like, oh, I have to swap Pelipper. And then we're just going to say, nope, give me the weather. This is our weather. Let's see. Please swap into Paloops. Please swap into the Paloops. Because if you don't swap into Pelipper, then we could have just gotten off a War Bell, which would have been so massive for us. And there's a swap. Come on, man. Come on, man. Reading this all day. Show me Pelipper. Show me Pelipper. It's Pelipper. I knew that from 80 miles away. So rain's st starting. Dark. Yeah, we got off rain. And they're gonna thrasalize probably into like fire. But that's no big deal. That's no big deal. Because. Because. Oh, it's steel. Oh, that's looking a little scary. But they're sitting here like, hey, yo, look at this. I got off the rain. Got that weather control. And I'm just like, nah, you don't got the weather control. Give me that snow right back, baby. <laughs> so snow's up. Snow's up. And it's good to know that Ninetales does outspeed. And Rock Slizzle is gonna launch, which is scary. And. Are we going to flinch here? Of course you get a crit. Blizzard launches, which is good. Great damage on the Pelipper. And from here, now we can set up a War Bell for the rest of the game. So I'm going to go War Bell. I could honestly, like, Terra and Terra Blast you. So I feel like you have to swap Pelipper. But who would you swap Pelipper into? Like, Bashku Legion? I think we freeze dry that slot. I think we go War Bell. And we freeze dry this slot because if you swap into Hydreigon, it gets ripped up by that. If you stay in with Pelipper, you get ripped up by it. And if I had to guess, it's Bash Legion. 
Yeah, you know what? It's probably Arch Ludon. I'm gonna go Terror Blast here. I'm going Terror Blast. Ground Terror Blast. Ground Terror Blast. I like this. I do like this. So we'll Terrasse Slice Glaceon. Nice level ground terror. Warbelt does fly. You end up not swapping. You're gonna stay in here. He's gonna stay in here with Pelper. Rock Slide's gonna connect. Do not make me flinch. Do, I repeat, do not make me flinch here. You could set up a Rain Dance. That is an option, but I got off a Warbelt, which is massive. You could have Rain Dance here. You're gonna go for a Hurricane, which we should dodge. We do dodge. Awesome. Terra Blast lands. Alright, cool. So Terra Blast connecting. I could Ice Shard this Pelipper slot down. How much damage are we doing here with Terra Blast? Enough. That's so big because now they don't have Terra. We get a crit. We get our payback crits. Because you crit my uh, Nine Tails the last turn. So that's a payback crit right there. Honestly, I think Glaceon could have KO'd regardless with this Terra Blast. Um, from here, I could just go in the Chomp. I'm trying to think who they have. Hydreigon. Probably Archer Luna. I think we just go in the Chomp here. So I think there's a chance that Archer Ludon comes out here. Or I could just go Gardevoir and play it safe. It really depends who I think they're going into. I think they go into Hydreigon and then swap Pelipper. I really do. So I'm just going to go into Gardevoir here. Show me Hydreigon. Show me Hydreigon. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. All day? All day Hydreigon. No Archer Ludon. All right, Bash Legion. I don't mind Bash Legion. I thought, I thought they would more so have Arch Luna, but they're not going to swap for Rain, which is pretty nice for us. Um, hmm. Actually, tough news for us. Basically, is a pain with last respects. We're double down to Basket Legion. We do outspeed, which is great news, and that's good damage. He has a special attack drop, even though he's physical. He's gonna go for last respects. That's fine. I do end up sashing up. <clears throat> good thing we're doubling down into the slot. I really don't feel like dealing with it. I really don't feel like dealing with it. Pelipper shouldn't be able to KO my Glaceon. I mean, I'm dodging it anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say, we have a War Bell. And Snow Cloak Bright Powder is just going ridiculous right now. Dodging Hurricanes and Weather Ball. Honestly, Weather Ball had a shot of KO. Considering it's super effective, but it wouldn't have been stabbed, so I don't know. And we have a Warville. Sitting pretty well. So now comes out their final Pokemon. It is going to be Hydreigon. Um, I think our best bet here is just to Ice Shard down this Pelipper and get rid of it. Its defensive stats are kind of dog water. So I think Ice Shard should be able to KO it. <clears throat> and we should be able to uh, turn this match to a 2v1. Plus they might protect Hydreigon. Just think of we're like doubling down into it, kind of like Basic Legion. Let's see what they end up doing here. They still have the Chomsky in the back end. Ice Shard is going to launch this KO. It does not even with a crit. I was really hoping it does. I was really hoping it does. Oh no. I think we lost. Unless Glaceon could dodge again. Go for Tailwind. Okay. I mean, you were already outspeeding us. I don't think that mattered. I don't think that mattered. How do I play this one? I don't know, but dude, my nose is so itchy right now. I don't think Ice Shard can KO Pelipper. I'm gonna Ice Shard down this thing. I think I have to hope that it KOs Pelipper. And just protect the Chomp and then hope that he attacks the Chomp and then turns into a 2v1. Let's see. KO. Okay, it does KO. Okay. That's cool. Can you uh, Draco Meteor my Garchomp? And it makes this 2v1. Hyper Voice. Dodge a Glaceon. Or Soak it. Either or. We'll put us in a good position. Oh my god. I love this Glaceon. I love this Glaceon so much. Thank you so much, Glaceon. Because now I can just Dragon Claw freely. And on top of that, do I Ice Shard? Just in case he KOs me. I think Ice Shard could do respectable damage. Or I could just go into a Freeze Try. Play it safe. I'm going to go Freeze Try. I don't think you could pick up the double KO. I really don't. Hyper Voice launches. Yeah, all day. Thank you. Thanks for playing Dragon Claw Flying. 
saying GG's night night all day long. So 2-1 winning record. Like I said, we were going to bounce back. But honestly, Glaceon dodge moves was ridiculously huge for us. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The power of RNG on our side today. Glaceon and Ninetales getting after it. Snow Cloak, bright powder combo. Vasiness is through the roof. You guys seen us dodge moves, hurricanes, hyper voices, all different types of stuff in today's video. And ultimately, it ended up grabbing ourselves a winning record, going 2-1. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.